cause a mirage. We're going to let the game speak for itself here. We don't need to break this one down. We're going to do it as we get into it. And FaZe Clan, presumably, will start on the CT side here, Jack, considering yeah. this is Sports pick. And if you remember, we were talking about Stage 2, and this is where FaZe Clan actually picked up Train 16 to 9, starting on this Good CT point. side. 11 4 first half. So let's see if they can keep on par or do better here as we kick this one off with the GG.bet odds favoring FaZe Clan as well. Yeah, it makes sense. And we'll have a look at the initial setup here from. The likes of Mouse Sports, they've got themselves two smokes Oof. and now no head. Rops will be removed at the start of the round. Olaf Meister, great shot from the upper halls. The bomb on the back of Carrigan and he'll be recovering the at least a P250. Nico might overstep the mark here and indeed he does. This going to be a quick reply as Frozen has to sit, wait patiently and there's a four and four. Oh yeah, we're we doing X-ray off for the pistol. Uh, I think we do it the second, the second pistol. Second so the pistol, first pistol, we get pistol we'll off, leave it okay. on and the second half we'll whack the pistol, uh, the X-ray off for everybody. We can even bring more of it in. We were talking actually in the car and the drive in with Rush about uh, you know, potentially having it off for rounds and just focusing on the T's or the CT's to show you guys at home how it looks for uh, the players in the server. It can be easy to forget, even though that's what you're seeing when you play. It can be easy to uh, neglect when watching with all of that X-ray and radar info. So smoke's in, flash is popping, Brokey's still aggressing. And they've gotten across, so Chris J will be getting this bomb down. Broke, he's done well to avoid those blind shots. Yeah, bomb goes down as well. So Mouse Sports right back in the driving seat out, but losing the initial kill, it's Nico that will be going down. The inside plant is found here, and we still have another flashback available for Mouse Sports. They get the headshot towards Broke. He takes another one point of health here, as Rain knows he has to do most of the heavy lifting. Chris J will be hunting towards Broke. Take him down, and they've done enough here. It looks so great. Olaf Meister left in a three on one. Gets a kip, but now he'll have to find two more kills. He's actually making a pretty convincing case for it, but no time left. Carrigan finds him with the PT50 from upper, and they recover the pistol round. Mouse Sports are off. I don't know about you boys, but I'm very interested to see if Carrigan has any new tricks on his T-side. If you have yeah, missed all the broadcasts, all we've been talking about is the E-Box smoke, the five-lane smoke, and then Carrigan's presence out main. His ability to get on out, weasel around his own utility dropped by his teammates, and then find some opening kills or at least give information has been integral. However, if you remember what I was just saying last round, it didn't go so well for them against FaZe when they matched up. So they might need a couple of different strategies, a couple of different looks. I really enjoyed my turn on the Telestrator. Oof! <laughs> Nico enjoyed that. Straight onto the stopper, took the head of Woxic clean off. But what I was trying to say before these guys started actually making the second round all too interesting <laughs> was that I fancy another go, Chad. It's very selfish of them. If they could just wait until we finish talking before they get their headshots, that would be good news. Damn it, Nico. Frozen's going to be rejoining his posse, and all of that was audible to Rain, at least the start of it, now walking. But Olaf, we talked about this low ramp, and it is a shotgun. He gets both of them. Chris J couldn't process that, equipping the Galil and chunking another 70 off of Rops, who is now, thanks to Cold Zera, the only man remaining. Hasn't gone for the bomb retrieval. He wants to catch the flank first, timing everything in this exchange. Oh, and Rain's not looking. Oh, he adjusts. Man. Well, there it is. It will be FaZe Clan answering back. The force buy works out for them. And to say the very least, Nico's Desert Eagle at the start of the round will be removing the initial mouse sports player. Chris did fight back with a lovely quick scope through the wall, but unfortunately going towards inside is where they found Olaf Meister. And here's the initial kill you could see from Voxix POV how much he actually saw there. Not much at all. Not much time to react. Fantastic shot from Niku. Managed to get a couple of kills in the round. And we'll see a force by and responsive amount of sports. Focusing on the Desert Eagles as well. Only got one smoke and a couple of flashes here. And they're fully invested. Do we get a teammate stabbing another teammate in the back at least once a map? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll talk happen? about it if Chris J's scout one shots rain. Okay. It's a good call. If it has uh, any ramifications, that would uh, make a lot more sense. Because those Deagle headshots are Deagle headshots regardless, but keep your eye on that scout. It's on the Dutchman for now and could have some ramifications given that Rain is playing Pop Dog aggressive. It shouldn't necessarily crop up. Unlikely to see the scout down there. <laughs> and as I say that, well, Chris is going to be walking past it. Oh, Rush. Ten points again for the camera work. Don't know what he gets to spend these points on, but he, he gets them. I'll buy him a burger or something soon. We talked about burritos. Yeah, we're closed. That's a shame. But perhaps some something spicy still to be cooked up in the server. Pushing through the flash, and already Nico gets it and gets away. The dream. Anticipating the swing, waiting for the smoke, and as it blooms, he has a new lease of freedom. 
Oh, very close there for Nico, but does get the opening kill this time. The smoke from his teammates does buy him a few more extra seconds to reposition, and they have managed to get away. Mouse Sports now have one flashbang, 30 seconds, and most of their manpower towards main entrance here. What's going to be the final call? I think they just have to commit through the main entrance itself, and that's going to be the only option. Here comes the flash. Nico doesn't really get caught by it, and we'll see Rain now. So I'm to mow them down with the Mac 10. 15 seconds. Just want to find as many kills as possible. It's going to be Nico tapping away. One by one, they go down, and that force by leads them to nothing. Has to be the full eco. Can you talk about it now, please, Alex? Did he kill Rain? He did. He did. Was it a one shot body it was. shot? It was. Okay. Well, yes. Phase, uh, they lose out on a full rebuy on Rain. Does lose his, all of his weaponry that he invested into that one. It was an SMG in full armor and nades. See that Mac 10 and smoke did go awry thanks yeah. to the Chris J body shot. But they are full eco going forward, mouse sports that is. So it, it, it's certainly not ideal, but they've got a chance to recover. As you'll see, nothing more than, what, Glocks, one Deagle. Chris J always gets Deagle armor. He loves it. Yeah. It's always but a chance, isn't there? Object to get the bomb down here inside. Bomb side, the most promising area. Just need to get one kill where you can normally get the bomb down. But they have to make a bit of a, a confession. Well, so it sounds like, bad. What have you done? Well, I had to go use the, the lavatory before, and the gents was occupied, so I used the ladies. I've done that once while we've been here. I didn't feel good about it. I got caught as well bad. by the only oh, female in the building. No. So you didn't. Was, oh, yeah, that was embarrassing. There's like no. one female here. Yeah. Brokey, oh, in the on. meantime, has managed to start down two of them Ooh. with only the USP. Close quarters, and it's done enough. They're happy to get the bomb plant, though. This was kind of the objective in the start. A frag and a bomb plant. Can't ask for more. Rop's not really going to be going to stop the defuse. He doesn't even look like he's close to contest it. Well, while this comes through, I want to try a little bit of an experiment for everybody at home in the first gun round. If Green, are you with us? Yo, what's going on? This first gun round, if we do see mouse spots going for the standard e box and five lane smokes, can we turn off X ray while Carrigan's out there maneuvering around just oh, to yes, see how definitely. many different angles he has to deal with? That will be exciting. Yes, yeah. we shall do that. Wonderful. Thank you. Where's Broking? Fending off these Glocks. Didn't deny the plant fully, but did manage to get a couple of impressive kills. You can see that spin. helmet surviving there, and we will get the bomb planted at least. All of nice to close things out. Very grateful for Carrigan getting that wiggle. Roki only had to hit one on that planter, but the little maneuver from Carrigan enables them to get that extra $800 injected into round five. Who's got that spawn right there? That's is that Carrigan? Carrigan, Carrigan yeah. yes. Okay, so that's perfect if they want to go for this maneuver. Normally, the individual with the best spawn can get away with this. One of the key elements of Carrigan going for this play, if it does come on through, is him dropping that Molotov towards the back of the Ivy train. That right there doesn't secure his push, but it definitely helps it out because Orpers will be yeah, less they, likely to push into that. How does it normally work if he goes on top of the green? Let's say here. So the Molotov lands where Rush is right now. But yep. he sees he's going on top of the green as well, right? And they can drop a flashbang over and have a lot of vision. Is there, Are they throwing flashbangs over the top as well? Again? Yeah. Yeah, there's flashes as well. So anybody up and above the train should be blind while Carrigan's okay. going for this push. But th once that subsides, that's when they can get on top and start to clear out all the angles. And Carrigan not only then has to worry about pushing through the smokes, all the different angles they could be coming from, but also above him. So a lot of it is just on gut and intuition right here. And the freeze time ticked down. So let's see if it comes through. Here we go then. Carrigan with the best spawn you could ask for for this particular approach. And he's got his own moves here. A lot of players replicating it. There's two smokes outside and then he'll jump out. Normally going towards the left side to get that Molotov town that Chad described. He spots one towards Ivy. Doesn't take a shot at him, though. And now trying to wiggle through. Oh. Finds Rain here. Beautiful stuff. As he threads the needle once again, his teammates will join him. We're going to have Chris J following in tow. But players yeah. on the bomb side is going to be Nico, joined by Olaf Meister. Robs will take down the former. Yeah, this is very nice work. And from the CT perspective, you can see just how much is smoked off. They can't see a thing. Finally spotted. Olaf tries to transfer. He knows that one went down nearby, and he catches Frozen from 5v3 to winnable. Now Chris, equal. Yeah, Chris J towards Ivy. Could be a nuisance here. Boxing at E-Box as well. He's got full vision of the C4. Rops looking oh. with a big old backstab here. And Olaf Meister deploys his smoke on top of the bomb. Looking to get a quick defuse in the incendiary. It could actually be enough here. The E-Box will have to swing around. Can't find take it. him down. He could not find the bomb at all there. And it will be the second round for Mouse Sports. Brilliant stuff there as they get close and personal there towards the E-Box. This is Carrigan. We followed his flight path. Look at the flashbang from Frozen. Rain couldn't do a thing about it. I like the adjustment because normally they scramble they up do, in yeah. front towards Team Main to deal with his pushes, or at least that's what we've been seeing come into fashion recently. This was great by Olaf. We couldn't see anything. Not quite sure how he was able to pick up two there, but that's an adjustment, right? Because they'll be waiting for a flash to come through, and he's just peeked on out. 
Got himself a nice little opening right there. And that move with a slight tweak is still successful. So this is what we're looking for from Mal Sports on their home map. Cold Zara. He'll play towards Ivy this time. Still with a, a decent buy alpha phase. No helmets to be spotted, but full array of AKs on the T side here. They'll drop double grenades towards the server. Molotov the boots. Just trying to bait out anything they can towards the side of the map. Still two players from Alsports here. Standard smoke. He's taking that vision away, suggesting they could be right at the very end. You have no idea in terms of numbers and their progress. So Cold will give them some room, the timing on that nade. They gobble it up. Both of them down to half. And all the info for Rain here. Chris J's waiting for that smoke to fade, but Rain's in quite a powerful angle. Deciding for a more passive approach, he'll be dropping a second smoke. And so it falls to Cold Zera. Can he stop them? Keep the wolf at the door. Double kill for Cold Zera. Oh, it should be. They're so close. He even saw the backpack of Frozen, and he's gone down. The nade from Brokey softening him up for the Cold Double. Well, Rain will go down. That was towards main entrance, but still. Cold Zero did find the double kill. Rops towards his lower ramp and Olaf Meister right next to him. Who gets the advantage? He spots him, makes a lot of noise, and Olaf just about reacts in time there. Four on two, 20 seconds remaining, and Nico holding the tie line from hell. And it's the AWP towards main entrance. We have got the AK at Chris J trying to scramble towards the bombsite here. Get the C4 down. He might actually have to do it. Not quite. Nico denies it and finds the round. Voxic better off just knifing out and saving the AWP. And up, there he goes. Off he goes. Uh, does he make it? He's very audible, and uh, Olof, you can see as he stares and inspects the uh, grout, is on his way, but I think Wogsik's safe and sound. No one wants to push a smoke blind. Four to two then, FaZe. They handle Mouse Sports T side attempt, and it all started in Ivy. Yeah, this is where that grenade from Brokey really showed us what could be done with it. You got Cold Zero, the double spray down, M4A4, and Olof might start baiting them in towards Rops, and we do now have mouse sports with a difficult situation here. They actually don't buy up around the orb. They have a smoke though, and it might just be the Ebox smoke. I've seen this move before. Woxic jumps out and takes an Ivy fight off of it. The Ebox smoke won't be thrown, but the tag will come on through. So that's gonna put Rain on notice very, very early. But look at that grenade damage. Rops is down to nine HP. Hasn't seen anyone yet. It's less fun. I do like the boost in pop though. It doesn't look like it's gonna work out oh. with that smoke grenade and oh, more nades. Oh, it doesn't get much worse for them this round. Woxic, he's got that saved orb, but his teammates have just lost all of their health. Yeah, they know he's got the AWP. They're giving him nothing at all. Just keep throwing these very important grenades. They haven't seen a single CT yet, but already lost well over 100 damage across the board. Smoke down towards Ivy, and Voxic gives up his position now. Doesn't nail that first shot, but Carrigan, he's great with this Deagle. Normally makes it work, but unfortunately, him, no helmet is leading him to a demise. We are going to have Voxic still waiting for an opportunity. I don't think he's going to find it. Nice little boost towards Pop Dog, trying to get off it, which they will. But now they know there's at least two players towards Pop. He's getting pushed. Woxic's aware of the possibility, but he has to focus his attention main and help him out. No, Knife foul. It's a dream for Cold Zero. He lets him Ooh. past. And they're going in. So actually not going to be able to find the instrumental round winning frag just yet. But FaZe, with the information from their teammate, have got the dream set up. Here it comes. Perfect incendiary. They push through, and their health already was low. Now even worse. He's Olaf. questioning himself. Yeah, they, he did all the correct plays there. Wasn't quite sure as to where they were finishing up, but still, no bomb goes down. They don't lose any further frags. So absolutely, everything is fine there. And we're going to have round eight coming up. FaZe can five, Mouse Sports two after that, winning the pistol. Yeah, with that round uh, that's been put on the board, the gun round, where we were talking about Carrigan's maneuver there, well, that was uh, the only round that Mousebots have been able to find the opening kill The here. opening kill, yeah, he yeah. got an e-box on rain, right? So things have been looking good for FaZe Clan, at least in that department Ooh, right Cree. there. We haven't seen one of those for some time. So I was actually watching uh, Hugo, Harry, and Trace play some I games. I this conversation. last night, yeah. yeah. And uh, they play with Hawker and Dinko. And Hawker basically just mains the org and the Krieg, still, even with the changes. Interesting. And uh, look, obviously we're not talking professional levels of play here, but I was asking questions. Can Hawker make it work? How does it look? How's the spam? So look, it can get you caught off guard, but in certain situations can still be potent. And as a, you know, 
replacement for the AWP, maybe Woxie can do some huge yeah, damage here. Yeah, that's a good here. point. So he is the AWP of the squad. He can definitely use the AK-47, but maybe he feels especially crispy on train with this particular weapon. We'll see. Inside execution coming up. Haven't had many promising gun rounds so far, so we're going to see what they can do here. Maybe get the bomb down. They'll be challenging Olof Meister and Brokey. The latter with the AWP at the upper ramp, and Olof Meister getting himself towards the spools. He actually goes up towards up here. We've seen this set up a lot. So the sniper will watch towards upper ramp, Olof Meister towards lower. They can pivot off each other as three smokes are deployed here. Flashbangs going over the top as well. Olof Meister should have this opening kill. He'll find Rops, and now it's up to Brokey to try and deny anything further. Yeah, I know Olof gives it a good go, but there's a lot of cover. And Woxic has managed to fill the feed, and one with the Krieg. Olof, however, continues to survive. He's making things very difficult. Look how locked in Woxic is. He's supposed to be watching the flank. A smoke from Olof to ensure he can take these fights, but Frozen welcomes it. 3v3, Rain the closest up, and oh, time to snipe. One bullet will do to the dome on with that Krieg, and Carrigan. Holding the site safe and sound for now. They're running out of time here. FaZe might want to try and get out. Brokey hitting just the one. Yeah, that was for the retreat. It's going to be enough for Mouse Wards, though. Olaf Meister gets two kills. Still not quite enough there. I would have liked the smoke they had to actually land on top of the bomb to make things a little bit more uncomfortable. But he used to try and stay alive towards upper. A nice idea, but Frozen hits a very important kill towards the aforementioned Olaf Meister. And that was the round for me. Frozen and Vox will survive. Money's still strong on the face clan side of the orb saved in the M4 there as well. The mouse supports have set pieces, working out, making sure they can just trade off each other and get deep down that bomb side works for now. Didn't see too much from the Krieg, and Voxic thinks better of it going into round nine here. Goes to the AK-47 instead. Money's still pretty low. Chris J, Desert Eagle, perhaps? Go for the AK instead. So he'll have 2,400 left over. This must be a change of call, then. If he isn't keeping that... Uh... Krieg in tow. Maybe they want to offer something a little bit quicker. Looks like the inner bomb site seems to be where they want to go. Creeping on down very early here, but there's already two phase players ready and waiting for this. Deep pop smoke does force rain either into the fight, which is where the Molotov now resides. Or out. So now committing down the ramp. Olaf here's the drop and will drop his incendiary. Brokey's desperately trying to support and he does actually find the lane. Bombs down. Bomb down. They have to commit. Rops from upper through the smoke. That's something. A Hail Mary to get them back into this round. The smoke shots continue. No one's gone down. It's still a two versus four. Frozen can win these sort of rounds though. He's that sort of player. Ooh. This aim. You can't be taught this. You're born with it. And Frozen's on but three kills. And now I'm down to the two versus one. He has got time to work with it as well, but unfortunately for him, Nico will be taking his head off. An excellent effort, I have to yeah. say. His aim, he looks very calm in these sort of situations. He looks confident today. You know, there was a couple of games where we've seen, like, Rops drop off and Frozen drop off. They were super consistent throughout the ESL Pro League Season 11 run, besides the final for Frozen, but everything else was uh, phenomenal. Now, when there have been a few more woes in this Mouse Sports camp... They're rising to the occasion, knowing they're going up against a team that they probably consider another top dog. Unfortunately, it will be just that eco with the flash. We saw what they've been able to do with it before. Just the USBs yeah, over there on that Mirage game. It's a good game. point. It doesn't happen too much on the T side, I will say, but you never know. In this level of Counter-Strike, you can't take your eye off the prize for a second. Even Glocks, no armor, can find a bomb plant, get a rifle. A star player steps up. He's got Kevlar, like Chris J, for example. And all hell broken break loose. They've got Carrigan towards Ivy for now. Bomb's still down in T-spawn. 6-3, second map. This is the pick of mouse sports here, and FaZe will find himself looking pretty good on the CT side after losing the pistol. Bear that in mind. Right now, Olof Meister, 13 and 5, had a lot of aggro towards the inner area, and again, he could be tested. Now, they have no smoke or flashes, but certainly got aim for days. So just going to bide their time, wait for some utility, try and find a opportune moment. Brokey towards a connector with no AWP, and it will be poor old Olaf waiting it up. Uh, but he has got the incendiary, the smoke, the HE, absolutely everything to deny a plan here. You can see how much further back they're playing this. They don't want to give too much of a chance to the pistols, and they do get the sight. Wow, Mousepots, no complaints. Carrigan, his call has netted them another 800 bucks. He burns to a crisp, though, Olaf cooking up dinner, and it looks like it's ready. Five players left standing, and the defuse will come in. Mouse sports, probably not too many complaints. Yeah, look, they'll be happy with the plan, and I think FaZe will be happy to keep everybody alive here. So it's not too often you go into a round and both teams leave with smiles on their faces, but when we move forward, <laughs> you haven't had too many issues dealing with uh, 
the faster gun rounds if you phase. You just had a bit of a hard time dealing with those inside executes so far. Yeah. It's just been the pistol and then two inner plays that have been the undoing. Let's see if they want to change it up to address those concerns. Maybe some IV aggression to see if that's clear. I think so. It's not really known to be a cold zero or a place of aggression. He loves to play those back alleys quite passively. Well, Chris J is the one with a good spawn this time. Does he want to take it and make his way to an E-Box again? That's where they had the success before. It looks like he fancies it. Most of the time, when you're desperate, you will take a spawn. It's like Long and Dust 2, for example, on the T side. And he'll make his way through towards Connector, but oh, Cold Zero ready and waiting. Incendiary down. Bullet tags coming through as well. And there is going to be Carrigan with a second attempt. Makes his way towards E-Box, but a very, very similar result. Five versus three, the descending players are one by one towards main now, and that's the problem with this sort of strategy. If it doesn't work out, there's not much to fall back onto. Yeah, you've already got two frags, and the AWPers just fired off a shot. You know there's more to worry about. They don't have to change their position at all. In fact, they can just throw nades straight to the Woxic. Frozen Claws, one back. That's a disappointing way to give it up, but through the smoke, not really much you could do. Still got the man advantage here, and a lack of grenades from our sports. Speaking of which, HE delivered a main, but Frozen narrowly avoids it. I felt like they adjusted their Molotov a little bit there on that round, right? It, it didn't go as deep into main. It was kind of just to one side, and that was the side that Carrigan, when he went out main before, found the opening kill through. There was a lot of pre-fire. You see, as soon as Nico gets control of the sandwich position, Carrigan has absolutely no hope of getting out of main here. But we've seen this a few times from Mouse. They just limp across the map. Rops has had success being able to get into the bomb site, but they don't have the bomb. Yeah. No and one's home. No map control either. So with the bomb down and two players towards Ivy, he will have to go for a big backstab. He's actually making pretty good progress towards Connector. So I feel like there is a chance he cause damage, but even if he does, what's the end result going to be? Is anyone even looking that direction? There's a massive gap right now. Time is the only thing in FaZe's favor. Moxie's got the first from behind, Cold Zera. Brokey down, now Rops' flank has been revealed. He heard the drop heaven, I think. Calm plan, though, and that's going to be him saving the weapon. So he gets one kill, but Cold Zero gets three. Extends our lead to eight now, and Rops will get no extra cash. That's actually a bit of a, a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. He's, he's got the AK, but his teammate's not really there with the cash to join him. They could go for Deagle armor once again, but this is Cold Zero shutting down that good spawn we talked about with Chris J, and then Nico finding the second as Carrigan trying to join him. Jumps in his grave, and we all find Cold Zera as well. Nice little spray down, Robs gets one, but that's all they find. So are they going to force bite around his saved AK? Ooh, it looks like Woxic felt it. So they'll go for two rifles and the rest well, on the He's partial. gone all in. Yeah. He's Oof. the author as well. He's all over the place now. Oof. Robs trying to take matters into his own hands. That's the different Molotov. Instead of bouncing it off the wall, they just plume it a bit earlier. Chris J has managed to sneak out, but Rain. Oh, does behead him, and just like that, two opening frags. Rob's onto Rain, Frozen's found Nico. now just Cold Zera on the site. He wants to stop this plan, he can't. They're low though, so low. One individual just needs to step up, and Cold's already stepped up to the plate. More where that came from, Frozen on Olof. So they've got the smokes here, the flashes, the fact they have those smoke grenades, it gives me confidence to face it. Let's get this full defuse in. They seem to get close to the site first and get rid of this rifle if possible. Remember, Rob saving his AK has given them a fighting chance now. Olaf Meister going up towards heaven. They're not sure as to where these T's are positioned. And they need to get their skates on here. Rob's has got a perfect kill. He's got a double. And they've pulled it back once again, but looks things here. Cold Zero with no time remaining. Does manage to do damage towards the Pop Dog area, but still no time to defuse. The round landing in favor of Mouse Sports, and they've done it once again with just the pistols, but an invested Galil from Voxic. The saved AK from Robs gets three kills, and it's more than enough as FaZe needs to assess their own financial situation. Now, Cold Zero 5K, Rain can drop a FAMAS as well, but still, money is very tight. Just to note, that uh, pickup there of the M4 was huge by Frozen because Woxic wouldn't have been able to afford an AK-47. So they can actually drop that across to him, and he gets a, a full buy now. Otherwise, he might have been going into this one with only maybe or a from UMP. Galil, a which they converted. Yeah, so the risk has paid off here, and Mouse Sports are putting themselves in a position where they could claw themselves back into this first half. You can see... The buy right now being jumbled across from FaZe, AWP for Brokey. We've got M4s in the hands of Nico and Rain. Olaf Meister's actually invested in a Zeus. Famous for Cold. Must be a gun on the ground for him here. I don't know. There wasn't that much money to speak of, but he's not looking to the ground right now. Green, do you spot him? There we go, there oh, it is. There's an M4. It's a beautiful one as well, the, the Howl. Old howl. howl. Oh, that wasn't a good howl. I, I'm disappointed with that. I'm disappointed. Worst. No, I've done some good howls in the past. Yeah. Oh, he's even got the howl sticker on the howl. Howlception. 
contraband now. A controversial skin, and we'll get into round 13. It is uh, a full investment here from FaZe. They do get the AWG for Brokey, and it's enough to buy. I, I don't mind this at all. See how powerful it can be. Losing out to the pistols in the previous round, Cold Zerap. Not necessarily aggressive towards Ivy, but a more upfront position. Leads to the first kill, Carrigan. Oh, yes. Trying to use their own tendencies against them. Not Auto passive position. this time. Yeah, you'll take those all week, won't you? Those oh, are your sure. favorite. Those are my favorite type of kills. Wait, you walk through, you know, there's no way I can miss this one. There's no way, <laughs> surely. Oh, I've missed it. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I haven't got to the point where I can enjoy them yet because it's more of like a, oh, thank God, I got the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> I always love when I hear a maniacal laugh from Chad's corner. That's when you know a missed shot's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Bomb down, though. We have got Rob's pulling a kill back as well. All of my stat. He's not as up front of Kind of uh, dismissive as most inside players. So he likes to uh, retake the side. This could actually work out. Voxic taken down. We have got Frozen on the ladder as well, but he's timed it well. It's going to be two rounds in a row here. It's Rain left in the three versus one. Surely has nothing to say about this, but a good opening kill. Spots the second. Does not have a kid. So we'll touch the bomb. Maybe in vain. He here. can defuse. He could, but he's not holding it. Robs. He is so grateful that for Rain has no idea. Oh, he can still now stick it he now. He can still stick it, but he hasn't got the time. Oh. Rain's going to be kicking himself. Robs just calls the bluff. The wow. frags from Rain set him up for success, but that's five for Mouse Sports. He had no idea. He assumed he'd be towards the upper ramp. Robs has always found at the upper ramp at the inside Yikes. bomb site. Yeah. And of course, he's connector and he's not necessarily outbrained him there at all. He was a little bit worried himself. He's on spamming underneath the train, assuming he was defusing there. But of course, with no kit, Rain will have to just save the weapon here. Enough force by probably going to lead us to an 8 7 once again here, boys. That's the way we like it. It's every, it's every game, so that's fortunate. Well, we did uh, we did recap before saying when these teams played last time, it was a 10-5, no, 11-4 half from, from FaZe. So they're not going to get the 11-4 on train this time round. Mouse have done at least one better than... It's not a... This is the rematch. What would it be? What would the turn be? Oof. For the rematch? Well, no, for the, the match that happened. Um, is there a term for that? Previous match? Yeah, I, I, I guess, but no, I thought there was I a see term. What you mean. Um... Let me think. The last... We could make a term. Reasons. We're good at making up words. I feel like it probably exists. We're just being a little bit dumb right now. It's not really working out. We're pretty and good we're at gonna, that. We're going to look stupid if yeah. we start coming up with words that already exist. Someone's going to tweet us and be like, yeah. hey, guys, hey, this guys, is the word. Really obvious word. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to feel real stupid. It wasn't even my idea. So, Well, I'll cop all the blame okay. for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Right. <gasps> I do love a good Zeus. Here we go. I can't wait to make the noise. Take $7,000 away from that author. <laughs> He does get the first, and actually Nico tapped onto Frozen, so they're giving Mouse a little bit of the same treatment, but that rifle from Rain doesn't get him very far, and Robs is happy to add another three to his tally. He puts him on double digits just before the end of the first half. Map two, series two. I see this from Brokey again. Carrigan, that's probably at the max range of the Zeus. Like, I, I, the tag part, the tag element of the Zeus always upsets me. Look at how he just collapsed down there. His knees just folded. He was like, ah, had enough. All right, well, can they get nine or will Mount Sports get themselves seven on the board here? They've only got two opening kills this entire half and they've still been able to post six rounds. So that's good stuff. Yeah, they've, they've brought this game back to life. Three in a row, and Rob's not taking too much damage at all there towards main entrance. Mouse Sports in that pick, looking very competitive here. A couple of kills being exchanged, but Nico comes out on top. Three versus two. And we've got Vosik and Robs here trying to pick up the pieces. They have a couple of bits of utility. Rob seems to know exactly where Nico is, but he'll come out on top of the duel once again. Looking to close out the half in style. It's the in-game leader of FaZe. Looking at our final frag with Vosik. He denies it all for now. One minute 20 remaining, and he's going to slow it right down. Oh, he had a chance. Cold Zera with his knife out. Vosik read it. Love his movement around these trains, but he's not anticipating the pop dog push. And Olaf turns his attention. It's cold to dunk. 9-6.
these goes these games go the distance see these guys tested and we do have the ultimate gg bear coming in as well phase clan still the favorites as they switch over to the t side they've got themselves a monotop a post bar and smoke for lower ramp as well no upgraded pistols makes the range a little bit more difficult for them, but the straight up lower ramp and they just run into the meat grinder here brokey does pull one back here and there's so much damage being done those grenades fantastic work with the molotov it is just as well we're down to a three on three once again with no diffuse kit to be spotted a lot of damage inflicted so far and phase haven't been great at picking out the pistols as of yet yeah and don't panic mum the players are still in the server we've just turned x-ray off 3v3 advancing now towards the bomb train chris j looking to hunt down brokey's the low hp player that was the jiggle from him there second on the site as well Oxit trying to close the gap, but Cold Zera stands his ground. A second he needs to overcome, and he has Chris J gone. Frozen's uh, added to the tally. A triple kill. They overcome a 3v5 there. It was two opening frags from Rops. And about 200 damage yeah. grenades as well. So they've done very well to actually fight their way back into it. I'd love to see it from the POV of the teasers they made their way through. Absolute pandemonium was ensuing, as we'll see it go double digits for phase. Uh, I'm guessing there'll be a force spy from Mount Sports here, which there will be. Here's the Reaper from Rob's fantastic game. Look how calm this was. As he manages to open things up there, get himself a couple of kills and shut it all down. And we'll get into round number 17. As I mentioned, the force spies here, Desert Eagles and a scout for Foxic, which is normally very powerful indeed. He's absolutely fantastic at finding the heads. And Chris J, he'll get a face full of flashbang here. Making his way towards lower, gets the Desert Eagle. And again, no trade potential. They'll steal a weapon away. They always seem to fall apart these rounds of phase and Carrigan, the double agent is caught in the back and it brings it down to a four and four <laughs> yeah he's just put on his old phase jersey yeah, he's so, like remember right, me let's... boys let's go where are we going we're hitting going inside cool sounds fun his old phase jersey you're absolutely <laughs> right there and uh for now a four and four bit of a scrappy interaction with chris J, but everything's calmed down for now nico and rain are relatively low and rocks will claim the pop dog area and there's still a minute, so with the smokes available here, I'm sure FaZe will be utilizing all of my and Mac 10 towards Ivy momentarily. FaZe have lost so many of these today. Yep. <laughs> there was three just in the first half of Mirage. A little bit alarming for them. You can see there is a bit of paranoia in their spread. They've got Olaf on the Mac 10 and they can let him just work his magic, call on like everything clear. There's so much information he can convey over the next 20 seconds. No contact back tracks. Oh, there's no one. Flank! Oh. And Nico, he's in the corner, hoping the back would be turned. It was. Olaf's calling the entirety of yard clear. He hasn't anticipated Woxic's very passive line here, though. Yeah, but they should be aware of it. It's the only area they've got to jump out of here. They could always smoke off towards E-Box as well, just like that, and it'll be absolutely fine. So they can make their way out. So this is very well played from FaZe Down. It shouldn't be given this round up, but I say that with such bated breath, boys. I'm not sure. They're I'm saving. Not... Oh, they actually are. Okay, I feel a lot more relaxed now. And exhale, okay. phase, take 11. It, All right. It, it, look, it, it's just such a losable round, right? Because even though Olaf went around and cleared all that territory, Ivy, and he you know, was calling, it was clear. The problem is, in that time that he was walking to Ivy, people could have walked into Maine. People could have been in Olaf. People could have been absolutely anywhere. So they got away with another one here. Mousewatch didn't corral them into this stack like they had so much success with on Mirage. And Olaf's even thinking he wants to go for a hunt. How many kills do you reckon he's got here, Henry? Uh, I think he gets Chris J. Maybe Voxic as well. Let's see. He'll have to go quietly up the ladder. I reckon two. He's done very well because they've been spotting this the entire time. They're not going to assume anyone's coming in this position. Unless oh! he starts running now. Oh! He gets one, two as well. Chris J. He didn't even have time to react. He loses everything. That's big. That's a sigh of relief for FaZe still. Knowing you've removed that sniper and some deagle armors as well, that's normally we're a bit cagey going to the next round. Everyone's a bit scared. But now you know that's been eradicated. They shouldn't be buying much more into this next round. Frozen saves a UMP. You've got a deagle for Rops. They've got a couple of HEs for main entrance. But generally speaking, this should be another round for FaZe. But you never know. In today's game, any round can be won. And we'll see the Frozen UMP Make its way towards Pop Dog. Oh, the nade. Looks like he's going to do a lot of damage here, but he doesn't get it off. Now to nine points of help, we'll have to fall back. Yeah, that would have been a tantalizing prospect, but does fall flat. And while this round is being worked out, I was wondering if you guys would like to try a new technique. Sure. It's called the uh, Vindhoff. Vimhoff, excuse me. Vimhoff technique. Yeah. What I just said yes. So what did. is the technique to do it's with? It's a breathing technique. It's okay. supposed to help um, with a lot of things, including uh, energy, energy, um, alertness. Okay. I'll read the whole list. Hang on. 
Deep breath, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Then you take a deep breath and exhale. Hold until you can't breathe in again. Yeah, but I've been I've recommended this by my father. Apparently, it's the guy that swims underwater, like in the ice baths, and basically yeah, denies denies what oh. humans are supposed to be oh. capable of. I should shut up because three CT frags did for a second, and they may be just continuing here because Frozen's got another. With 66 health, he's trying to fake the ladder, and it might work out for him. He's got 40 Ooh. seconds, and the bomb's now planted very uh, safe from Pop. A little bit worried for this one. The fact he went watching Pop Dog there, after that's where his last spotted, was uh, making me feel a little bit nervous. But this seems like it's absolutely fine. And I have to say, Chad, FaZe, sure, that they've won these last few rounds, and Mouth Sports have made it, all of these rounds a little bit uncomfortable. They've kept the money very low. So sure, it's not the best start, but they've at least made it manageable going forward here. And I'd be frozen to get one more kill and just give himself another $600. Maybe there's something more to be found as well. Could be another rifle as he just makes things a little bit more uncomfortable for them. Throwing the smoke on top of the bomb. It doesn't matter in the end, but a nice idea. And they can take down three players. So even though Brokey has 7K, it's going to have a knock-on effect going forward. But FaZe now in touching distance after 2-0. It's looking good. And uh, yeah, Alex, I'll give that breathing technique a, a crack. Send it, send it my way. I was actually looking at breathing techniques this morning. I want to be able to hold my breath underwater for So longer. it's just 30 quick deep breaths, like through quick. your nose, out your mouth. Okay. And then you inhale to your maximum capacity and hold it as long as you can. And so then you just do, two you inhale again and as deep as you can and hold it for 10 seconds and you just repeat that. All right, we'll give that a crack tonight after we finish I'm on down. up here. Apparently it's immune system booster, which is obviously fantastic given the current state of affairs. Gonna be seeing a nice smoke on top of that bomb train as well. Rain straight out. And already we see Carrigan on the edge of the smoke. He's played the periphery perfectly for his one and done. Nico caught by Frozen. That could be the undoing of this outside take because now they have to be concerned of heaven. They have to adjust their positions to account for Rain, or rather Frozen's position. And he's gone hunting. God, Frozen's mad. Yeah, that's a very impressive shot there. And we've got Voxic, AWP, vision removed, Cold Zero, still with a bomb on his back. He's been here for about 30 seconds or so. Trying to get that bomb down if possible on Robs. He's got other motives. He knows that the fact the bomb's not planted suggests he could go for a big backstab here and another fake out plant from Cold Zero. They're going to keep getting closer and closer here. They need to get this bomb down if possible. What's Holof up to? Holding main? I think they're going to lose the bomb before it even goes down. What a shot, though. The Orpa removed from Ivy. That's wonderful from the Brazilian there. We've got a two on two. Chris J with the AWP spotted, and now the bomb surely goes down. You'd think so. Robs has got this kill, though, 100%. He's actually practicing some tig trigger discipline here. And Olaf, as he checks his back, gets shot in the back of the head. Cold Zera to clutch. He's going to jump straight into Chris J. Oh, he's oh, dead. Oh, can hear him. This shouldn't be a miss, and it won't. Does take chances on the no-scope, but Chris J connects all the same. Mouse spots, they will succeed. Pick up the seven. Yeah, that was good by Mouse there to plug that gap, or, or very mindful of Chris J, right, to realize that there is always that avenue. And once you've taken a shot and have identified your position, keeping his uh, twinkle toes moving and being able to catch Cold Zero off guard there. So good stuff from Mouse here. They're able to put the seventh on the board. We've seen Rain immediately invest, and the rest of the FaZe Clan individuals are talking through what type of buy they want. So this is a late buy from Spawn. I don't think we'll see anything too quick straight off the back of that. They will have to slow it down. Rain's throwing some utility over main, potentially selling a little bit of a fake here, but Ropsy through the smoke. He's going to have someone to deal with. Yeah, it's going to be Nico. Not an easy position to find yourself in there. Robs will be absolutely wrecked at the start of the round. A perfect pick for Nico to find. They don't have to continue with the push anymore. They can see the adjustments, and there's low money on either side here. This is a very, very important round. Nico knows that. Gives him the call. Frozen, baited out. He'll have to drop his incendiary now towards Pop Dog. As now he sits beneath the ladder itself. He'll have one smoke remaining. Cold Zera, Deagle in hand for now, and he is absolutely fantastic with that weapon, especially on train. Some of the disgusting things I've seen him do on this map on the T side. Howering. As we'll see, the bomb collected. Rain starting to position himself towards outside. Zara does clear out the uh, upper halls, enables him to throw their utility without any threat of a peak. So that's going to deny a lot of information, hoping that that caused the rotate, and you can see immediately oh, Frozen does. springing to action. Look at the bomb as well. It goes out of main entrance at this moment. Carrigan, decent flank here. This could be yeah. enough. Oh, no, Nico hears him. One step he too many. Definitely heard him. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Alex. It was one step on the nose. It did look good, but certainly hurt. And that's going to be the round double off the save. retake. They have to save. And you, I'm hunting as well. I know it's uh, Vox and Chris J remaining. Oh, that's more like it, Olaf. Keep those coming. 
And Vox, who eight kills, 15 deaths, and one of the most orb centric maps we have in the pool. We'll see him trying to hold on to CT spawn here. That is an element of Counter Strike that I think is actually really under, like, it's difficult to grasp and to process without just playing it long enough to get a feel for it. But the idea of when your steps are audible sure. is a part of the game, especially when we were playing Wingman this morning. I was constantly so hyper aware of when I needed to walk, and I knew I was messing it up time and time again. It's a part of the game I think is, is a, it has nuance to it. Well, a lot of the things that you learn in Counter Strike, you actually pick it up without realizing, yeah. right? Like, you players can sit in the server. We actually, a couple of weeks ago, we were, I was showing you guys the left eye, right eye peak when you're creeping into areas and stuff. A lot of people don't actually realize that unless you sit in the server and go yeah. through it all. So, those details are things that these players have been downloading into their brain over all these years that they know it should be knowing it to the very detail i mean it's yeah it's, it's, it's down to your read of the game as well right it's where you expect them to be and where what is audible through Ooh, different avenues brokey for now though does fire off his warning shot this is only deagles you say that i've just got a horrible <laughs> feeling about this round watch this there's something like that they seem like they're very aggressive here could walk into the That's desert fine. Eagles there we go. it looks great though I'm always, I guess I've just been... Uh, Conditioned. My heart's been broken too many yeah, times, I understand. Chad. I don't trust anyone. Well, I don't trust myself these days, Henry, so... Well, that's fair enough. <laughs> now I'm thinking of the meme of the kid pointing the gun <laughs> yeah. at the back of his own head. Oh, God, that's one of my favorites. That's very uh, <laughs> layered itself. I think that's underappreciated in terms of the meme world. Yeah, or May -Maze, sorry. The May Maze. Yeah. May -Maze. Yeah, that's the official pronunciation. I think this is, I, look, I, I know I was saying just the other day, I can't say that FaZe are going to win a game until they've got that 16th round on the board. Well, because honestly, just for your own sanity, Chad, I think it's best that you, 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 you operate like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. I was about to say something. I won't say it then. <laughs> because I know that you have uh, a little bit of a fear surrounding the FaZe clan and their closing nature. I think they too uh, have been having their fair share of issues with it, especially in Pro League. You may be looking at their recent results thinking, what the bloody hell are these idiots talking about? FaZe have actually not lost a game in four best of threes. Yeah. But... I, I think it's easy to forget what we've seen as of late, and it is still certainly an identifiable trend. Phase 14, and then a comeback. So let's see if they can close this one out cleanly. We've seen actually an unpointed credit towards the likes of Envy, Cloud9, for being able to close their leads out tidily. And you made the comment, both of you, in fact, at times, that it's the tier one teams, these big names, these are two top 10 teams in the server, have been having more of an issue than those. It's because Cloud9 and Envy are bringing new ideas to the table and FaZe kind of almost recycling the, not necessarily bad ideas or anything like that, it's just like, it's, it's not variations in terms of new and exciting yeah. things, which are what the younger teams are doing and they're really impressive us because we don't get to see those new exciting ideas because it's think it's too risky to experiment at this level perhaps certainly and, and, and that's a good reason oh. and a good example olaf has managed to find the opening frag could this be the 15th they're going in a and look at chris j already starting to rotate backtracks he's so paranoid though jumping for info and as utility and steps are heard rob's calls for backup this could be uh, looking for that series point but chris j you know he's got enough left in the tank here. Nico pulls on back towards Rops. That's a key scalp to take at this point. Rops is the inside player. Chris J already made himself known as well. He peeks towards upper and once again, boys, it's a double orb setup. Make it singular as Nico takes down Chris J. Frozen. Same treatment from Gold Zera, and we've got Vok. He has to save the orb here. No two ways about it. They've got no money. And in terms of loss bonus, it's what? At the third or fourth stage after this one? 3,400, uh, according to our little HUD that we have. Up it is, here. I guess they were. 5-0 down, yeah. and they, got, they, they did manage to pull one back, so it is going to be $3,400, but still nowhere near enough, especially if you lost the AWP as well. Exactly. This should be the game right here. It's difficult to defend with AWPs, with rifles, with all the diffuse kits and utility, the way that FaZe are playing right now. So imagine trying to do it with the Famous, the MP9, having a scout for Chris J. A body shot with the AWP is a kill. With the scout, it's only 70 damage, so some bigger missions right here. The headshots will have to be on top of the agenda. A little bit worried for Mouse. Corzera, he wants to dish out some opening punishment. And Frozen's already found the first. Mouse sports, they needed that. They can work with that. Did cost Frozen a lot of his health, and if that nade was to bounce off the E-Box, it was destined for it, just a little shy of the mark. It could very well have found that final 12 damage. But working at a disadvantage, Mouse Sports, they're starting what could very well be the comeback. It could be, Alex, but I feel like FaZe might be able to find their way out of this one. They've still got the utility. Smoke grenades available, flashbangs here as well, the inside execution. They've already shown us they're very powerful this part of the map. Rops, 
He'll only have the FAMAS, no smokes. Oof. And Chris J with a scout as well. It's not a big, scary sniper at the back there. It's the puppy version. It's a lot up. Yeah. Just, just licks you instead. Just a little kiss on the forehead. <laughs> And here come the inside smokes. One towards Connect out. Flashman going in as well. Robs needs to find multiple kills here. And he gets the first. Oh, here Surely we go. Surely they can't get back into this now. They shouldn't be a chance. It's 3v5, now 3v4. But Brokey, he's already managed to get them back into this one. At least to get that bomb down. A cold no. Sarah stands his ground. Oh dear, Carrigan's gone. Brokey, a 3k with that AWP on the assault. Puts it all onto Woxic. He's been having a tough time on train. Eight frags. He'd need to get, find the double digits to clutch this one back. Brokey, this, I feel, I've got a feeling this is the fourth. He wants the quad kill, he's up on upper. Yeah, it looks too good. Nico to close things out potentially, and there we have it, FaZe Clan will be